Valens Pista here, welcome to the channel. Short but very important video guys. You might have heard about this emergency calling bug, but if not, then please make sure to just watch the full video. It's not gonna be a very long video, but there is something called the emergency calling bug, right? And Microsoft Teams was in the news for that one. In fact, what this bug does to you, it prevents you from making an emergency call, all right? Microsoft issued a fix, so if you update now to the latest MS Teams, you will not have that problem, but apparently Google is still working to get this pushed for some of their updates, okay? And there is this XDA recognized contributor Linux CT, and this is the guy behind all the animated wallpapers and the porting, so this guy released an application an APK that you can easily install and very easily and very fast and quick detect if you are vulnerable. So if you have some applications on your phone that potentially can abuse this bug, all right? And also there is a bit more history to this from one of the XDA editors there, Michel Rahman. So you can just check, he released a Medium article. And in this article, there is actually a real case for a person that was trying to get help calling 911 and his phone would just not allow this. Um, yeah, it could have resulted into uh, yeah, a very, very bad story. So there is this story posted by a Reddit user on the 29th of November. This person was just telling how their Pixel phone failed to connect to emergency services. So this guy or lady had a Pixel 3 running Android 11. Grandmother had some problems. She needed some medical attention. This person tried to dial 911 and then after just placing the call, the user said the phone just stuck immediately after one ring. And in fact, they were really not able to get help. Then after this story went public, Google support team contacted this user. They tried to diagnose this. And then after a short investigation, Google concluded that if you have Microsoft Teams apps installed, but you're not logged in on your phone, in a circumstance, this can lead to an unintended interaction between Microsoft Teams app and the underlying operating system, which is Android. So based on our investigation, we have been able to reproduce this issue and etc. and etc. But luckily Linux CD, who is again this XDA recognized contributor, also famous for porting wallpapers from this or that device, he released the phone account abuse detector and this application will actually help you to determine if you are vulnerable. Actually, this will check the number of phone accounts registered on your device and it actually reads for these two permissions, Android permission read phone state and Android permission read phone numbers. So using these permissions, you can check if a misbehaving app is registered to many phone accounts, which means that eventually, God forbid, but if you are in a hurry and you require some help from 911 or something else like 112, which is used in Europe, yeah, you will not be able to dial it in. Now, I'm not sure if this is valid only for 911 or 112. Anyway, I just think, guys, you should check your phone. Now, this really is very straightforward. I'll put the link down below to the thread from Linux CD. Now he is leaving you a link to the pre-built APK. You just open the GitHub page. Inside guys, there's something called app release APK. You download the app release APK. After this, you install it. After you install it, you'll have the phone account abuse detection application on your phone. Just run it and that's it guys. If you get a message like this, no apps abusing the phone accounts but were found Please check the details, then you're fine. It will tell you how many SIMs you have. I have one account, all right, mobile network, SIM one. I have one account in Duo and one account in Teams, but no problem at all. If you'll have like 100 accounts, which is actually, you know, the bug being exploited, then you'll see a message here. And then you can just uninstall this application that is causing the problem or, you know, just disabled or whatever. But I think it's important, guys, just do this. It will not take more than two minutes. Run this check and make sure you're protected and you're not vulnerable, all right? After this, you can go back to Linux City and just follow him on Twitter. He's famous for doing some good things for the community, for us, so we can give some love back by following him on Twitter. Many thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, thumbs up, right? Subscribe to the channel and please you and your families stay safe until we meet in one of the next videos. And with that said, VST over and bye.